and the last episode of Day in the Dream. I tell you all about the prophetic dream I had one night that ended up concluding God's instructions to me. As time continues, it is revealed to me multiple times by different people that a table is being prepared for me in the presence of my enemies. Finally starting the process of getting rid of the old to make room for God, he tests me. And this time, I pass. Even if I lost I'm living through your fears for me. The last episode ended on the 18th, but let's back up to the 16th to what you all did not see. I am so thankful that I have a mom that helps me make decisions in my life, but at my age, it's a bit much sometimes. Sometimes like you're in survival mode too, and because you're in survival mode, what you tell me to do, I listen. I'm about to live a life without you and I'm about to make mistakes without you. And I'm about to make a mistake if it turns out to be one in your face. Because I'm going to get me a 2022 Kia K5. It depends on the monthly payment and how much I have to put down if I don't find a car cash. I have been seeing Kia cars all over TikTok because of their rebrand. And I fell in love with their Wolf Grey GT Kia K5. I want this car because it gives luxury at a cheaper price. And I'm genuinely obsessed with it. And I'm just ready to start trading myself to the nicer things in life. Most of my life I have been doing what my mom has been telling me to do even at my grown age and I have also been operating out of survival mode for way too long and I genuinely feel like I deserve more than what I settled for. So one day has passed and my mom is telling me more about the opportunities that she has been receiving from the South. This is our time to step out of the isolation because if things are looking up for you this quickly upon us just knowing that we're going to return back to the South. That's a sign. Yes, you say that's a crown. I am. I'm <laughs> so proud of my mom. <laughs> I just, you know what, dude, it's all God because you know for yourself, I've been speaking it. Like, yeah, praise she's God been, for yeah, this for opportunity. Uh, man, you said, when I tell y'all, my mom has been saying, I need to be around people who can inspire me. I need to be in a room with, like, basically, you know what people say, like, richer people, people who are smarter than me. And she's been saying this for a minute. She said, I'm getting all these phone calls from Georgia. She has been saying that nonstop especially these last few months. She said, I need to get back to the South. Those are where my people are at. Here we are going back to the South where her people are calling her. She never stopped receiving jobs from Georgia where she struggled out here to get jobs. She kept receiving calls back to back yep. from these places that don't want to hire you without a, uh, what is it? A master's degree, a bachelor's degree. Yeah, to pay you $15 an hour. Exactly. Get out of here. Where she doesn't have to have all of that to make more over in the South. Mm -hmm. This isolation was definitely needed, but I'm ready to get on with my yeah. life. Yeah, I think California taught us the the mindset of richness, the mindset of, uh -huh. you know, looking your best, having the best, you know, mm -hmm. aspiring to have more. Yeah. And that's where we are now. Right. So if you've been obedient, you're faithful, you know, you're dying to self, you are submitting over your idols and, and in return, just coming into a deeper love for God, right? The way he moves, it might not look how you expect it to, right? It may look like trickles. It may look like silence. It may look like, I don't know, you, you, you hit what looks like a breakthrough and then you realize it's not a breakthrough. I just want to tell you how to handle that because it can be very hard. You have to lean into him to maintain a pure heart. You cannot allow the pain of the process and whatever he's trying to produce in you, whatever pruning he's doing in you or whatever preparation he's doing behind the scenes that we don't know about. You cannot allow that to make you proud, to make you arrogant, to make you say, you know what, I'm going to get up and figure it out on my own, to make you reject God or to make you angry with him. Renew my mind, Lord Jesus. Help me to continue to build, you know what I'm saying, in you. 
give me rest here, right? Help me not make the blessing or the promise or the gift or whatever the next is an idol right now. Because when we feel broken down, you begin to idolize it and you begin to fantasize your life being so much better with what you want God to do or what you want him to reveal or how he, how he promised to put you in position, right? Don't do that. Let him know that you need him, right? And that's faithfulness. And that keeps your heart pure. So be encouraged because this is the process, okay? Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have watched all of the TikTok compilation that I made last night. I made it in a separate video, but this morning, uh, you know, with everything that I had seen last night, I genuinely, I'm genuinely trying to make a conscious effort to do better by God. And today I was trying to read my word and it, it just wasn't connecting for me. So I know I'm doing okay by God, but I want to be doing great by him because he has always been great to me. So I feel like I can be doing more. And with a few more scrolls of TikTok, I see this simple TikTok, but it was very much life changing and it allowed me to crank it up several notches. Experiencing the touch of the Holy Spirit is not just for church. As a believer, when you're abiding in Christ, when you're walking with the Holy Spirit each and every day, I'm telling you, it's next level. Once you start experiencing church in your house, you will be a different Christian. Your relationship with the Lord will be next level. Your life will be next level. You will be walking in power, anointing, and authority. There's a lot of Christians that are walking around powerless. They are being devoured by the devil because they're giving into sin. They're not utilizing their help, which is the Holy Spirit. Talk to him, pray to him, cry to him, do everything like as if he's right in front of you because i'm telling you once you start treating your relationship with god like that and devoting your life to prayer and worship and reading the word you're going to be a next level child of god so now instead of just praying to god one time every morning i now pray to god and ask god for insight each and every day throughout the day and i do it by acting like i'm talking to somebody who's physically in my face alongside a little bit of prayer then i would read his word then I will go to TikTok that consistently brings me Jesus content and I would watch those with the spirit of discernment. Hi. <laughs> okay, glory be to God. I need you to praise our God with me. Okay, because listen, we know it's already done. Okay, we know that he is doing a new thing and we are perceiving it. Glory be to God. But see, I need you to praise our God with me because see, the things that you want is custom. It's unique. It's original. See, it ain't just, oh, I want what they got. Or, no, no, what you want is fine-tuned and God molded it just for you. And baby, that thing right there that God got for you, those promises, okay, that marriage, okay, that car, that house, okay, see, that financial freedom to be able to bless people the way that you want to bless people see i need you to understand oh it's on its way babe i know you used to searching things out and i know i know you used to you used to working for it but see because you've been seeking first me and my kingdom baby it's all about to be added to you the things that god got for you Oh, it's, it's, it's limited edition. It's different. See, you might want that type of car and a certain type of car. And he might be showing you a certain type of car. But see, to a certain degree, you need your car custom made. Oh, babe, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the kind of blessings that's about to fall on you. See, the way that God is about to bless you, see, it's about to blow your mind. See, you know all them tears that you cried? There was hurt tears, there was pain tears, there was angry tears, there was pissed off tears. See, them tears? Oh, see, I need you to understand that that was watering your garden. See, I need you to understand that that obedience that you kept being obedient to, even when you ain't understand, even when you ain't feel like it, see, that was all, that was all watering your garden. And see, now... Now, baby, you about to see the fruits of your... See, woo! Nah, nah, see, the stuff be feeling real, the personal attacks and da-da-da-da-da. But see, nah, just like you can feel that, you can feel the favor around you. And you got favor around you. See, woo! Glory be to God! Did y'all notice that at the beginning of the video, she said that God is doing a new thing and we're perceiving it? Like she said, glory be to God, okay? Then she got to talking about a car right after I told you guys about the specific car that I'm seeing that I really want. And to top it all off in the middle of the video, she said that because you have been seeking me and my kingdom, it's all about to be added onto you, okay? Come on with it, Jesus! Okay, period.
I am so thankful to God that he used her to say that because that confirmed so much to me at night. And I'm genuinely just so thankful to God that he has no problem giving me confirmation as much as he does the way he does. And God, thank you so much for the favor on my life. So now we're officially one day past where the last episode ended. You know, that is something that I'm working on right now, surrendering it and giving it all to God and making him first. Like, like I feel like I'm very close. Like, I, I still feel this. I've been seeing myself here for a minute now. I can't help but think with how strong I've gotten in God, especially with the limited time that we have left here, that I might be able to become who I'm seeing spiritually. With me seeing myself here, I made it all about my physical yet again. What I'm realizing now is that it was my spirit who made me who I was, not who I looked like when I arrived. I will still technically be who I'm seeing, but within. Everything else will happen as it should. I genuinely want to be for God, all for God, like be joyous about him. And I feel like after today, I know I can do it. I know I can. With all the lessons I done learned, how to shut the enemy out, how to move forward, how to get stronger, to do what I need to do to get my mind back operating in a high, on a higher frequency. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. So now a few hours have gone by and this happens. And how about that? Just a little bit later after chilling out, I see a TikTok confirming what I said to you guys just earlier today. When you're in the process of walking into everything God has promised you, there's this stage that no one talks about much. It's very dark. It's a lot of uncertainty there. And you often deal with a lack of connections during that time. And it's called faith. In the moment of faith, you're literally shifting in the spirit into who you really were predestined to be. See, a lot of times people think that they arrive and then they become, but you really become before you arrive. That's why God impressions us to act as if it has already happened before we see the thing come to pass, because that's the completion of us evolving in him. That's the completion of the new creation. You have to be the new creation before you can walk into your next destination, which can be rough. But I want to tell you on today be encouraged i have done it my friends are doing it and it is wonderful on the other side i don't care my phone bought it to me god bought it to me i don't care i needed to hear that and i'm so thankful to god for that confirmation when i tell y'all like god has been like talking to me lately ever since like i really started truly seeking him for him and you know everything that i discussed in uh 14 like i'm telling y'all like he's been like showing me like things sooner like earlier today i was like god you know i'm really trying to do right by you i really want to become the person that i'm seeing and not for like what comes after that but because i'm genuinely trying to get it right i genuinely want to have that relationship with god i genuinely want to secure my spot in heaven like i'm genuinely ready for to be a new person i'm i'm ready to be reborn and i know i talked about it earlier but with the video that i saw it just made it even more official more it confirmed it for me more i can't get this new house and i can't get this new car and expect the new person to come i gotta be that person you know and i know i said i wasn't gonna think of it in the sense of what he was gonna give to me but i think that's just you know worth noting like today when i had prayed to god i was just talking to him you know like i have my relationship where i talk to god like he's my best friend but of course in a respectful manner like you know like my dad and to make a long run the freaking story short after i got done praying to him he started revealing things for me to work on he's like yeah you're praying for me to do this that and a third for you well here's what you can do here's what you can do to get closer to that you know he was revealing things like start taking those good parts of your old self like being happy and joyous and just being nice and you know screw you know how people look at you and when you're too nice or you know people not being able to reciprocate the energy based off of how they are and what they're used to you just gotta be you and do you. Look, man. Ooh, this pruning process is not fun. My God, when is it going to be over? God is serious about your future. He's serious about your character. He's serious about you and your assignment in this season. He's serious about what he's what he is about to entrust to you. He's serious about what he is about to transfer to you. He's serious about your position as a leader. He's serious about your position as a parent. 
He's serious about your position as a wealth carrier. You have to be able to handle that and endure some things. You think what you're what you're trying to deal with now is going to compare to what you have to deal with in the future, what you're going to have to, you know, handle in the future. The pruning process that you're going through right now is the next level blessing. It's it's the blessing that that is to come. It is the thing. It is for the thing that is on the way. It is for the thing that you've been praying for. Everything that you're going through, you may have a lack of finances. You may have a lack of direction. You may have a lack of of peace in some type of area in your life. Like you may feel as uncomfortable as you've ever felt before in your life, but trust the process. I hear God saying, trust the process. And no matter how long it takes, man, like this type of pruning is necessary for what you have been praying for. And if it wasn't for, thank God, but if it wasn't for this type of pruning, if it wasn't for him pruning us so that we can bear more fruit in the future, that's a clear indication that God does not want us to be reckless with what he's He's about to give to us. So I just want to encourage y'all to stay focused, stay in alignment. Don't give in to the temptations. Don't give in to your flesh. Even when your flesh wants to get angry and upset and mad with God, remember how good he's been. Remember how faithful he's been. Bring yourself back to the secret place. Bring yourself back to fellowship with him. I know it's been hard, but we just we just need to hang on in there. Okay, we need to hang on in there, right? I have had an extreme amount of faith in God lately, so trusting him in this process and any process will be easy. I don't know what it is, but like, I praise God for it because lately, I don't know if I was, cause I was getting into my word, listening to God all day. And then I was listening to some music that put me in a good mood, whatever the reason why I was in a good mood. Cause I noticed that when you chase God, like I said, um, you have no reason but to be happy. Like you just feel joy. You, you just end up smiling. I noticed from experience when I'm trying to go to sleep tonight, before I got the urge to get up and try and get as much done on this uh, chapter as I could, I was just feeling like some type of power, you know, like in the sense of like definiteness within myself and just like joy in a sense to where I almost thought about staying here in a sense like I don't want to but it was just so powerful you know what I mean and of course I'm not knocking that and I don't want to stay here but me being able to tolerate here wasn't nothing I wanted to stay out here because I was feeling so joyous that nobody could touch me Oh, I got a little bit of chills. Ever since I started praying to God about getting me insight, oh, my, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I receive in the name of Jesus, y'all. Ever since I started praying to God for insight, y'all, things have been coming to me. He's been showing me stuff. All because I've been asking him for insight. And it just, it, it's, it's like I have to talk to y'all to understand stuff. And it just connected in this moment. These last few days, I've been asking God to give me insight, reveal things to me. I've been praying for it. Here he is saying, you need to start conquering this in your own household. God is revealing things for me to conquer and for things things for me to face within myself. And I cannot thank you, God. I couldn't be more thankful for what God has been revealing to me back to back from my heart, spirit, and mind. So I asked God to, you know, give me some more instruction. I, I think the prayer was so beautiful. Like I said it so smoothly. I just wish I was out of my knees beside my bed and said it right. But now I'm going to have to do it again. But uh, I asked God to, you know, give me some more insight. Yeah, I'm in the Bible now. And there's always a verse of the day. And the verse of the day was Joshua 1. But it only gives me one verse. So I decided to read the whole chapter. And this is what I ended up seeing. Just read... Uh, I'll have it. I'll have done something in the editing. That's very fitting with everything that we've been seeing. Uh, you know, God is always with you. And then, you know, he's telling me to be strong and courageous to help those in here with the land that he swore to them. And, you know, it, it just, I don't know. It just. With everything that I said to you all in 11 and a lot of different things after that, I am so thankful to God that he has no problem sending me confirmation back to back the way he does because he knows that I need reassurance to know that what he is sending is actually of him. So I always said that I never wanted to be one of those, I don't know who need to hear this, but God told me people. But I feel this word so heavy in my spirit that I know it's for somebody. And I just want to tell you that if God has you in a season where you are uncomfortable, then your life is about to change. When a mother eagle makes her nest for her baby eagles, 
she puts the thorns and the branches and rocks and things like that at the base and on top of that is where she puts the soft things the things for them to be comfortable when it gets time for these baby eagles to come out of what they call a resting season when they come out of the resting season is when it's time for them to fly the mother eagle she stirs up the nest so that the rocks and branches and all the hard things starts to aggravate the baby eagles to the point where they grow the desire to fly hear me when i say that the uncomfortableness that you feel in this season is only god stirring up the nest for you to grow the desire to fly if the if the mother eagle never stirred up the nest then these baby eagles would have never known that they had the ability to fly at the time that they were supposed to realize that, hey, we can fly. I'm sure they probably would have figured it out that we can fly, but it maybe it would have took a little longer had they not. Ooh, ooh, this is strong, baby. I feel this strong. The Bible say, count it all joy when you face various trials, knowing that the testing of fate produces perseverance. Then it's another verse that says that he that endures to the end is the one that God will save. So this race is not about being in a rush to nowhere. This race is about holding on to your faith and staying solid in the word of God, knowing that the work that God started in you, he will complete. So if you are in that season where God is stirring up the nest, get excited because you are about to fly. Oh, okay. So I'm sitting down on the toilet, right? So with what God said earlier, basically about, you know, uh, editing. Oh, I was walking to the bathroom and I saw the deep freeze and I was like, oh yeah, we gotta sell that too. So I just sat down on the toilet and I was thinking about, dang, all this stuff I'm trying to sell, but ain't nobody even inquiring about the stuff I already got posted. And it just kept occurring in my head, like, don't worry about it. Like my, my mom's idea is to sell all this stuff. To be honest, I just want to get rid of it. I don't care about selling stuff, but she's like, oh, well, we can make money off of it, which is true. But I'm getting the feeling of like, in a sense of like, don't worry about it then when i got the the good uh vibe to like edit to like hurry up and get it on the road like something's about to happen i got a feeling like something is about to happen something's about to happen it's like so what i'm getting is like with the deep freezer thing you know all the selling me feeling like don't worry about it you know like don't worry about it. you're gonna get your you know your lessons so i was like chilling in my spirit about that then when i felt the need to go edit that show to you know get get it almost done so i can start doing what i need to do get, to get these episodes done because like something is about to happen and then i got the feeling that something was about to happen i don't know what it is but something is strong right now thank you lord jesus i receive sorry I'm in the spirit god showed me a picture and i'm gonna show you two pictures and then i'm gonna show you the message that god relayed to me and i feel like it's for his people as well Ultimately, what God is showing me is that this road we are on is leading to God's glory. In that picture, you can see you don't know what's through that opening, through that door. But God is saying, trust me, this season is about seeing God's glory hand in hand. This season is about receiving God's heavenly provision. God is saying when you come out of this season, you will have no doubt at, at all who God is. God is saying you are going to see his hand in everything and i get it this season is dark and this season is lonely and many many of us including me are wondering why do we have to be alone but god is saying this is a season that's crucial this season is about opening your spiritual ears and your spiritual eyes god says those who have eyes let them let them see and those who have ears let them hear this is a season about opening your spiritual senses because when you come out of this wilderness season it's not always going to be about you. It's going to be about the, the people you helped. Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Spirit. And as soon as he was out of the wilderness, he started ministering. God is saying, as soon as you are out of this wilderness, you are going to be helping my people. But I am training you in the wilderness. Because I cannot let you leave the wilderness so fast and, and untrained. Because you are going to help, hurt my people as you are hurting yourself. Do not confuse this season of pain with punishment because this secret place you are in because really that's what it is it's a beautiful place he is training you and not only that you are 
knowing firsthand who God is. God is saying you, his, his glory is going to be shown to you in this season like never before. But first, you have to yield to his spirit. You have to yield to God. You have to open the Bible. So, so many of y'all are expecting to hear God's voice and see God, but don't even take the time to read your Bible. And you pray and don't even take the time for God to respond back. And I'm talking about me as well. But God is saying, in order to see me, you have to seek me. Praise God. She said in order to see God, you got to seek him. And that's exactly what I've been trying to do. Let me get up. 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 Because, y'all, she talked about so many different things. That was like confirmation. I know I was shaking my head because like the amount of confirmation that God is like sending me through, you know, his people on TikTok. Oh my God. His hand in everything being led out here by the spirit coming out of the wilderness. Helping people and breaking shackles by ministering. And God's magnifying his glory on me. Everything that she said in this video was huge confirmation. I cannot thank God for the pruning that he has been doing to me. It just took me doing what he had been telling me to do. Which was simple. Let it go so he can come in and make room for the new. God has brought me a long way in this very quick year. And I'm so thankful to him for the growth. I've got a long way to go to become who I'm seeing, but I still see him here. And who I'm about to become in God is the right step to become that powerful man in God that I'm seeing. I remember in just chapter two, I was wondering why God had brought me out here. Now I see why. Everything I have gone through is for who I'm seeing. The preparation to move here to Cali the second time, then me getting separated from my old friends and family, and now, I think we all know what this chapter is gonna be called. But whatever is next for my life, I know that God's got me. And to be honest, I know that it's going to be beautiful. <laughs>